Welcome everybody to Bedbug Central TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And today I want to discuss some of the differences between a bat bug and a bed bug infestation, and some of the differences that you might see in treatment protocols when dealing with those two types of infestations. I've received some emails lately that, you know, wanted to know some information about bat bugs and, and what the differences are, and I had a few people suggest that, you know, there really isn't any difference as far as the treatment is concerned. And I'm not necessarily saying that I disagree with that statement, but at the same point, there are a few differences that you should be aware of, because if you don't, you know, address those things, the infestation may not go away. So the first thing that I want to talk about is what the differences are as far as what you observe with a bat bug and a bed bug infestation. The first thing that should always happen is that if you suspect either infestation, whatever the case may be, you're seeing bugs that resemble bed bugs in the home, you should have them professionally identified. Uh, the differences between bat bugs and bed bugs are very subtle, and they really can't be discerned by just looking at the bug. You really need to take a microscope and put the bug under a microscope because the differences are often just hairs on the body of the bug. So, you know, anybody who comes in and says, you know, they can just look at a bug and tell if it's a bat bug or a bed bug, unless they're very, very well trained and have a very good eye, that's usually not possible. So you should always have the bug professionally identified to determine what you are dealing with. Now, after you see enough bat bug infestations, you do start to notice some trends. And one thing that, you know, from my experiences that I can speak to, is that with bat bug infestations, we tend to see most of the bugs up around the wall ceiling junction. So up near the ceiling or on the ceiling. And a lot of times, and for whatever reason, I'm not sure, but a lot of times people don't seem to be being bitten as much as with a bed bug infestation. Um, and again, you know, I, I don't know the reasons for that, but that is definitely a trend that we notice. That not only are the bugs limited or primarily on the wall ceiling junctions and up towards the ceiling, people just don't seem to be being as bitten as much. And, you know, we go in and ask, well, you know, I see these bugs all over my home, but they're not biting me and, and you know, I, I don't know what they are. Um, so if you see those things, you know, that might be a few indicators that you might be dealing with bat bugs instead of bed bugs. Now, in terms of the treatment, there's really one major difference. And it, it's a relatively obvious difference in that if you are in fact dealing with a bat bug infestation, one of the first steps you need to take care of is getting the bats excluded from the home. You know, a lot of times bats are in the attic or behind shingles outside the home, and that's where the bugs are coming from. And as long as those bats exist, the bugs may not go away. So after, you know, your pest control company comes in, identifies the problem, and maybe they do one treatment before the, bug, the bats are excluded. Because, you know, you have bugs running around, you want to get the bugs out of the house, and that's completely understandable. But right after that first treatment, the first priority should be to get those bats out of the home. That way the source is gone, and now you can clean up the rest of the bugs that are left. And to be honest with you, bat bug infestations just tend to take a little less time to get rid of than bed bug infestations. And there's no scientific data behind that, that's just from personal experience. But typically, you know, bat bug infestations, once you get the bats out of the home, tend to be relatively quickly cleaned up after that point. So outside of those things, you know, I do think the treatments do tend to be very similar. But getting the bats out of the home is one of the most important steps. So I hope this episode was informative for people. You know, clear up some of the differences between bat bug and bed bug infestations. You know, and, and like I said, I don't disagree with the statement that a lot of things are the same. They are. But there are a few differences which I discussed, and I hope that clears up the information. So the email address, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. As I said, this episode was stimulated by a user's email. And, uh, you know, I always am looking for more questions and more comments. So please email me anything you have, and uh, I'm sure I will talk to everybody soon enough.